My name is Philip Ilsley and I want to talk to you today about the 100th anniversary of Fatima, May 1917 to May 2017. The birth of communism in October 1917 and the global revolutionary of Freemasonry and their aim of a one world order. Our Blessed Mother appeared at Fatima on the 13th of May 1917 and one of her prophecies there is that great things would occur on the 100th anniversary and that means this year from May 2017. In October 1917, Lenin stormed Moscow and the birth of communism began. And many months before in Fatima, our Mother Mary warned that Russia's errors would spread throughout the whole world if mankind did not repent. Look at what is happening in the world today, my friends, with Russia. Mr. Putin, the Russian leader, his aim is to dominate the whole world. Freemasonry were the ideas behind communism and few people realise today that Lenin, Stalin and Marx himself were on the payroll of Masonry. Freemasonry is a satanic worldwide order. This secret sect whose aims are to undermine the authority of the Catholic Church. Very few people are aware of this today and how deep the roots of this secret society actually reach in our lives. Freemasonry is the greatest secret sect on earth today and many important people in the world today are Masons. It reaches all levels of society and it is even in royal households. Its control is everywhere. Its influence is everywhere, especially in the media and through an anti-religious, anti-Catholic media. Their goal is to create a worldwide view that restricts itself to science and reason alone and not faith alone and especially not the Catholic faith. Its goal, my friends, is to destroy the Catholic faith and the papacy. It is a controlling power today working behind the scenes, in banking, in the police, in the armed forces, in the judiciary, in politics and even in some royal families. Freemasonry is even in the Vatican. Its control is everywhere, with a hidden agenda within the Catholic Church, even at the upper levels of the Church, like cardinals and bishops. Freemasonry, I say again, is in the Vatican, and its aim is a one-world order to be led by Lucifer, their Masonic God. Pope Francis is trying to eradicate Freemasonry today and other secret sects 
like the Illuminati from within the Catholic Church today. And he is also trying to reform the Roman Curia within the Vatican itself. Pope Francis is trying to clean up the Church today and he needs all our prayers and all our support. He really does need all our prayers and all our support. He is the object of calumny. People who call him the Antipope and the Antichrist. He always responds through thoughts of love and words of peace. And some people are impervious to his teachings, which are not his teachings because it comes from God. And many today do not believe in his infallibility when he speaks as head of the Catholic, Apostolic and Universal Church. They think they have the right to mock him. They think they have the right to refute his work and his teachings. He who despises the Pope, my friends, despises God. The duty to listen to him in what he commands, in what he advises or desires, for whoever listens to him listens to Christ. Whoever listens to the Pope listens to Christ. And this is why he is called the Christ on earth. His responsibility as head of the church today surpasses all human strength and which divine assistance is very necessary. This divine assistance comes to him through the intermediary of our prayers. This is why we must all pray for Pope Francis every day. Pray for Pope Francis every day, my friends, for he is the voice of God for all humanity today. He is the voice of God for all humanity today. Pray for him. Love him. He is Christ's vicar here on earth. At Fatima, in 1917, Our Lady stated Russia will be the instrument of a chastisement to punish the whole world. Our Lady told Conchita at Garabandel in the 1960s that communism would come back and cause great suffering before its reign of terror is suddenly ended. The tribulation of communism led by Russia would be an awesome time for the church. Churches will be locked and priests will be in hiding. Look at what is happening in the Ukraine today and what has happened in the Crimea and what is happening in Syria. We are facing an aggressor in Russia who has no hesitation in changing borders by force. Our Lady said communism would come back in one final attempt at world domination by Russia. Our late great Pope, now Saint John, John Paul II, talked about the coming tribulation. He said we must prepare ourselves to suffer great trials. But with your and my prayers, it is possible to mitigate the coming tribulation. 
but is, is no longer possible to avert it. With your and my prayers, he said, it is possible to mitigate this coming tribulation, but it is no longer possible to avert it. Another great Pope, who reigned from 1846 to 1878, over 31 years, Pope Pius IX had this important vision of the future. He said there will come a great wonder which will fill the world with astonishment. This great wonder will be preceded by the triumph of revolution. The church will suffer exceedingly and her servants and her chieftain will be mocked, scourged and martyred. The church will suffer exceedingly and her servants and her chieftain will be mocked, scourged and martyred. This vision of Pope Pius IX is in my view what Our Lady foretold at Garabandel in the 1960s. Pope Pius saw a great wonder that would fill the whole world with astonishment. This, I believe, will be the great universal warning foretold by our Blessed Mother at Garabandel. This is otherwise known as the illumination of all of our consciences, where everyone over the age of seven will see the state of our souls as we all stand before the judgment throne of God. Each and every one of us would see our sinful selves before the throne of God. Pope Pius saw that this would be preceded by the triumph of revolution. The church would suffer much and her servants and her chieftain would be mocked, scourged and martyred. This, I believe, will be the tribulation of communism led by Russia foretold again by our Queen of Prophets, our Blessed Mother at Garabando. Our Lady said, prior to this happening, the Pope visits Moscow and on his return, all hell would be let loose. This will cause great persecution of the Church. The Pope will have to flee Rome. Churches will be locked and priests will be in hiding. This is going to happen, my friends, and I also believe it is very near. A major sign for us all to look out for is if Pope Francis ever visits Moscow. This is why, my friends, we must love our Pope, we must pray for our Pope, support our Pope. Pope Francis had recently asked Cardinal Burke, who is the patron of the Knights of Malta, to ferret out and remove from the Knights of Malta all members who are Freemasons. Pope Francis in January 2017 summoned Fra, Fra Fresting, the head of this order, and asked him to submit his resignation. It is hard for us to believe today, my friends, just how many of our cardinals, our bishops, or our priests, our masons, 
because masonry, Freemasonry, is in the Vatican. This is the temptation of the serpent of Eden, that they can do better than God and his church. We all need to pray for Pope Francis. He is not enticed by material things or glory or honour, and there is no wickedness or offence that he does not forgive. Remember, he is Christ's vicar here on earth, and he needs our love, our support, and our prayers. For the cross he bears on his shoulders today is a very heavy one, and it's every Catholic's duty to help him carry it. I have sensed for many years now that a great storm is coming, that will change the face of the earth, and many popes have warned of this plan of the Masons and the Illuminati, these secret societies who seek a one world order and to communize the whole world. As in past revolutions, like the French and the Russian Revolution, which were manufactured by Masonry and the Illuminati. The Catholic Church and the Papacy again today becomes their central target, and the Church and our Pope Francis is their central target today. But I believe you know that our Blessed Mother is now asking all her children to get ready for a great blessing to come that will wake up souls and shake them from the darkness of these times. A blessing that will be a global outpouring of the Holy Spirit that will destroy the power of Satan and usher in the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the era of peace. Pray for Pope Francis, my friends. Love him and support him. He is Christ's vicar here on earth, and he needs our prayers, our love and our support. Thank you for listening.